In a 12 News special report, we know how much parents love to share memories and achievements from their children. However, some kids say that some parents do it way too much on social media. They call it sharenting, and it's becoming a raising, rising trend. Today, we sit down with the kids and also the parents about how much sharington is too much. Is that even a question? <laughs> A statement she is always on her phone <laughs> like 60 percent of the day quite quite a bit yeah <laughs> soon as uh, we got the smartphone you know things changed i come upstairs to tell her i'm home from school she on her phone looking down okay that's great honey i'm sorry i had to expose you <laughs> he is right girl i am always on my phone that's true that's true I mean, there's this one thing she posted on YouTube, and it's really embarrassing, because it was just like me when I was younger. I got dressed as a princess when I was like <laughs> four or five. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Sometimes our pictures that she posted are a little embarrassing. Every airballed shot, don't post that. <laughs> Every anchor breaker, don't post that. <laughs> now, if he makes it, post that. Yeah, yeah, see, see how that works. No, I don't. I'm mainly posting about what our family's doing, uh, the fun stuff we're uh, engaged in. If there are any challenges, we post about that too. I mean, I post it because I think it's things that I just want to share with like friends and family. Wow. Wow. And that's true because we start posting video of the fetus. I saw an ultrasound picture on Facebook, a 3D ultrasound picture. It was so good, I could tell that the baby looked like her daddy. Ethan is our, our little baby, he's two, and uh, he has his own page, his little video, so, but 90% I did not know that. Oh, your boss is gonna know your mama's crazy. That's the thing that I'm scared of. You're gonna get me fired. I'm gonna get you fired before you get hired, boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You better go into business for yourself. But I never really thought about that, how much it would impact the career and their future. So it does concern me. What the rules are gonna be will change for this one by the time he gets to, you know, working. Because you got to work. You can't stay here. You got to. I can't just stay in my room and play Xbox? No, no, no. You got to get a real job and get out of your mama's real house. That's actually really frightening. I didn't ever think that. <laughs> we might just have to shut down all of our social media. So I might just be more thoughtful, even more intentional now in, in what I post. When you go to Target and give them your social security number to get that red card, you're taking a chance. When you sign up for Cub Foods Rewards, you are taking a chance. Anytime you go and put your name and birthday on any document in these United States, you are taking a chance. For me, the good is going to outweigh the bad. Interesting right. statistics mm -hmm. there. Got to do a little internal, mm -hmm. you know, reflective, I guess, work. And do you post too much? How much is too much? Maybe talk with your kids about it. And, you know, take some inventory of what you do when you're on social media. Just so be right. careful. Yes.